Hey guys, Renee here from Sweet Midnight. I decided to start a new video series called COVID Crafting uh, because I'm sure a lot of you are bored and still at home and self-quarantining like we all should be. So the point is to be able to make stuff from things we have around the house. Oh, how cool is that? And uh, if you're like me, I am a craft hoarder. I hoard craft supplies, so I have tons of stuff all over. If not, you might need to order some stuff online. But for our first project, all you're gonna need is a lawn flamingo and some felt, some rubber bands for your hair, and a bead. Because we are making these fabulous lawn flamingo bags. <laughs> so please join me and make your own. Hi guys, this is what you're gonna want. You're gonna want a Sharpie, some felt, lawn flamingo, rubber bands for your hair, a bead, exacto knife, hot glue gun, and you're gonna just take those legs and you are going to just pull them out of that flamingo. You're gonna take one of the patterns from the website, which I will share a link for at the end, and you wanna take probably a colored pencil instead of a Sharpie so you can rub it off, which I decided right here. And you are going to basically trace that shape onto your flamingo. Now I got my flamingo from the dollar store. Whatever flamingo you're using, you're going to wanna make sure that your shape is basically the same type like an upside down triangle thing, wider at the top, thinner at the bottom. So now that we're done tracing it, we are going to take our X-Acto knife and very, 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 very carefully, make sure it's sharp, cut on the line that we just drew super carefully and if you're using flamingos like me oops it looks like that I uh, I didn't get my my blade in there right but there I fixed it if you're using flamingos like me uh, you shouldn't have any problem doing this <laughs> I'm still having issues aren't I oh maybe if I knew how to use the exact one I correctly there we go. If you're using flamingos like me from the dollar store, the plastic is really thin and the X-Acto knife should just go through it like a hot knife with butter. So here I am cutting, cutting, cutting. Cut, 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 cut. And then we're gonna do the same thing at the top of the flamingo. Right there. Careful, don't cut yourself. I have many X-Acto knife scars, three to be exact, matching ones on each thigh and then on my thumb. I also sliced part of my index finger off. Don't be like me. And now you are going to have this amazing living hinge that, like mine, might break. See at the bottom? Don't worry, we're gonna fix it. Now we're gonna trace the pattern of our lining onto our felt. And I sped this up because you guys don't need to see it in real time. If you don't know how to do it, I'm sorry. You're gonna get your scissors. I prefer Tim Holtz scissors. They're awesome. And you're gonna cut out what you just traced. Pretty self-explanatory. And you're gonna put those aside and get your flamingo. So what I'm doing now is I am cutting a rectangle, rectangular <laughs> piece of felt and that's going to be my living hinge. And I'm getting out those hair ties. I am cutting two of the pink ones with my Tim Holtz scissors. And I'm gonna grab my bead and I am going to put one of the hair ties onto or through, I meant through the bead. 
and at first I had some trouble with this so I cut the hair tie at an angle so that the elastic went through easier. Okay, there you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hold the cut off part onto the flamingo and we are going to mark with a little X on each side so that we know where to put our bead and where to put our little elastic closure. And what I'm doing now is I'm taking my X-Acto knife and I'm cutting a little X in the spot that I marked. Very carefully as to not cut myself. And I'm taking my elastic with the bead on it. I am putting the elastic through the little X that I just cut on the body of the flamingo. Pulling it through so it's nice and tight. And sitting where I want it to sit. And I'm taking those extra little elastic strands and I'm gonna tie a knot. There you go. Now I'm gonna take the part we cut out. The little X, I already cut a hole in it. I'm gonna take that second piece of elastic and we're gonna make a loop with it. So we're gonna stick the two ends through the X that I cut. And you wanna be careful not to tear the plastic if you're using a cheap flamingo like I did. And you're gonna make sure that the loop is big enough to go around your bead. And then you're gonna tie a knot like we did before. Let's make our living hinge by putting two lines of hot glue in our flamingo on the door and attach them with that little piece of felt. Now we have a hinge. Now we're gonna put the lining in. So take that lining piece that we made. Oops, look at me, I'm jumping ahead of myself. We're gonna trim the elastic first and we're gonna take our hot glue gun and we're gonna just put some glue on those knots so that they don't come undone. Fold the lining in half, find the middle point, and then we're gonna put some glue on our flamingo on the door and we're gonna glue it down. Now you're going to notice that there's gonna be a little hole at the bottom, like a little gap, and don't worry, we're gonna fix that in just a little bit. Gluing, 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 and sticking, sticking, sticking. I do not like using hot glue. I prefer using E6000, but for convenience sake, we're using hot glue. Now what we did is we are going to Put the very end of the lining inside the flamingo. Do you guys see how I did that? Right on the inside. I put a line of glue and then I stick the edge of the lining in it. Now look at that. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut some felt to fill those little gaps. And I didn't know exactly what I was gonna do to fix this at first. And then I realized, oh, you know, I can just cut out a little rectangle. Now, the best thing to do before you make your own flamingo purse is to make a pattern using paper and that way you're not wasting felt and it will fit better of course i didn't do that i was lazy 
So here I am, I'm cutting some little rectangular pieces and I am applying hot glue and I am sticking those pieces in there just to cover the gap. And when the bag is closed, you don't even notice them. Perfect, look at that. So the next step is to make the handle. And I decided to make my handle out of this cool black and white polka dot felt that I had. Here I'm figuring out the width I wanna use. And I, uh, I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm gonna mark it so that I know exactly where I'm gonna cut. And here I am cutting it again with my Tim Holtz scissors, which I love so much. I decided that I was going to fold it in from the top and then fold it in from the bottom, which is now the top, and I'm applying some hot glue, and there we go. That way there's a nice, clean handle with no seam. See? And I'm just making sure it looks okay and figuring out how I'm gonna attach it, which is by folding the two ends in, or in half, I should say, and applying some glue. And then I am going to apply glue to the inside of the flamingo and attach my handles. And what I'm doing there is I'm using a glue stick to wipe away the excess hot glue. I'm doing it with the other side now. That way I don't burn my fingers. And I'm waiting for it to dry. Using a clothespin is a nice little trick you can use. And then your bag is all done. Congratulate yourself and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye.